Greetings! Today I'm going to show you a trick you can use to set up a practice section of your experiment such that you can have participants quit your practice trials whenever they feel they're ready or whenever you want them to quit. Um, so what we've got set up here is a very simple demo experiment. We have a welcome screen, which we normally have, which has a welcome message and a keyboard response for subjects to press spacebar, a goodbye screen, which is largely the same. And this time we have a practice loop. In this practice loop is a rating trial where we are showing a word to subjects. That's the practice stimuli. We're asking them to rate the item by pressing left or right. And then we have a keyboard response that ends the routine. And we are taking the buttons left, right, but also interestingly space. And we'll see how uh, that factors in. So let's try running this experiment to see what it looks like. So welcome to the experiment. So you get a series of words and you just press left or right. And you can also press space, but as we'll see in a moment, we want to use space to actually quit the loop early. So let's imagine that we actually want subjects to go through this practice phase for a really long time until we decide that they're uh, ready. So rather than just going through, because I only have six words, rather than going through the six words once, let's go through a whole bunch of times. So effectively, this is more or less an infinite loop at the moment. I mean, not truly infinite, but who's going to sit around for nearly 10,000 iterations? So we need to create a way for subjects to actually terminate this loop when they are ready, or maybe when we tell them that it's time for them to quit. So we could set it to a button other than space. It's like a secret button, like five or something. And then only the researcher would know how to quit. Um, in order to set this up, we're going to uh, implement a little bit of code. And the code is very simple. We want to assess the uh, key practice component. And if the space bar was pressed, then we want trials practice dot finished to be equal to true. So we're essentially going to check if a space has been pressed and if space bar was pressed, then um, quit the entire loop. That's what trials practice dot finished will do. Now we don't actually want this at the beginning of the experiment. We want this at the end of our routine. Um, because it's at the end of the routine when a subject will have uh, pressed the space bar. So if we go ahead and run our experiment again, we will find that if I press left or right, we keep going through our list. So I'm pressing left and right and left. But if I press space bar, then I end my experiment. So it's a very simple technique, very handy. It allows you to create practice sessions that can go on as long as you want. And then you can let subjects quit when you're ready for them to quit. Um, you can also, by the way, put this into your experiment. You can add a secret button to your loops so that when you're testing your experiment, maybe you're testing your experiment and uh, you have some... Uh, loops early in the experiment and there's hundreds of items and you don't want to sit through hundred, hundreds of items yourself. You can just add an extra key to the allowable keys. Make it something really obscure like uh, you know the minus button or something like that. Something subjects aren't going to press in case you forget to turn it off. Just add in this one bit of code and then when you are testing your experiment when you're ready to skip through a loop, you can just press one button and skip on to the next section. So it's handy for uh, debugging and testing and developing um, as well. Anyway, this has been just a really short video just to show you this uh, neat little trick. And uh, I hope this helps you in designing your experiments. So good luck.